currently writing a book trilogy called Belladonna. Martial arts play a large role in the story, which I didn't know much about. I needed to experience something similar to what the characters in my book are experiencing. So I joined a Muay Thai gym here in Thailand, and this is the story of my first month in training. Today is the first day of real Muay Thai. The last one was my trial session. Joyce, what time is it? 8.23, we gotta get going soon. This is my friend Joy, my roommate. I'm going to a coffee shop. Let us get going. See ya. Hi, Mel. I'm Miao. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Hong. Let's train together here by Cat Gym. Hi, Nook. Welcome. <laughs> Hello, my name is Sir. Welcome to Boy Cat Muay Thai. Sadiqab. My name is Pong. Just have some time, come to help my friend here. Morning, I'm Sunny. I live here. I love Muay Thai. I have a good health because of this spot. I quickly realized that I could not jump rope for four minutes straight. I was already struggling and this was just the warm up. The only word I can think of to describe how I felt that first session is sloppy. We're at a coffee shop. First session was really intense. I'm really sore, my abs are sore. Good morning, everyone. I am feeling very hyped this morning because I decided that I'm still going to exercise even though I'm sore. This is a milestone for me, this is a big moment. I just finished my second Muay Thai session. In only two sessions, I feel like I'm getting better. At this point, I didn't really notice any huge progress, but I was motivated. I am incredibly sore from the last session. In my fourth session, it really struck me how horrible my form was. I mean, I still don't feel confident in my form at all one month later, but you know, it, it's a work in progress, a long one. My endurance was still horrible. I was constantly out of breath, sweaty, just a pinched nauseous, all of that. Overall, things were going pretty well. I was slowly making progress on improving my butchered form. But of course, something always goes wrong. Long story short, I woke up this morning sick. If it's something that's more serious and I feel worse tomorrow, then I'm gonna be really concerned about this challenge. Hopefully this ends soon because I wanna get back on track. I did not get better. I got a lot worse. I'm like waking up in the middle of the night just in pain because my throat is so swollen. So I've just been drawing. I'm not really an artist, but I'm incredibly bored. I'm a bit frustrated because I'm supposed to finish this Muay Thai video, but it might not physically be possible. About a week later, I fully recovered and went to my fifth session, which I didn't get any footage for. So uh, yeah, there we go. I got footage for this one. This was really a breakthrough session for me. It was the first time I'd gone to training two consecutive days in a row, and everything I practiced the day before was still fresh in my mind. I pushed myself hard and I started to see many results. And while I was training, I was also brainstorming scene ideas in the back of my head. I started to ask myself, at the end of all of this, what new scene would I write first? This day was really chaotic. I was trying to learn a jump push, but for the life of me, I could not get the footwork right. It's definitely a challenge, but it's also so rewarding and I always feel really good whenever I go like the rest of the day is just like great <laughs> this morning I am going to my ninth session and I will be joining her for my first session
For the last several days, I've been editing this video and agonizing over how to end it. I knew that my final battle involved writing a new scene in the first book of my trilogy based on my personal experience, but I had no clue what scene to write. But last night around 1am, my roommate and I were doing a little brainstorming session and it finally clicked. My beta readers have been pointing out that the plot is way too fast and it needs a few more scenes to beef it up. Although the pacing was pretty good at the beginning and the end, the middle when Yashi, Vel, and Pin were going through classes and training sessions and filtrations, this part was well written, but the pacing went by too quickly. I felt that in the most dynamic scenes, the story was a bit rushed. Sometimes it's like slow and sometimes it's just like super fast. Also, they don't really see the characters improving and fighting as much as they'd like to. Pinto is described as a really smart, lanky teen with an eye patch. But then we don't get to see any satisfying scenes with him only winning by a thread because he notices some tactical error from his opponent. Let's just say I have a really fun scene planned. In fact, I was so excited to write it that I didn't sleep until 4 a.m. last night. But I'll tell you about it later. First, time to refresh my muscle memory by heading to Wildcat for my 10th session. I just got back from the gym a few hours ago. I decided that I'm going to write a new scene for the book that will take place pretty early on, and it's going to be the character's first day in a training class. I'm going to loosely base the structure of this class on the Wildcat Muay Thai gym. All right, let us dive into it. This is the scene I have been training for. This is the moment. This is the final battle. Welcome to your first day in defense training. We'll start with the basics, hand-to-hand -hand combat. Those of you who progress further into the program will engage in weapons training, craft your own practical daggers, and connect with a specialized Do you mind? tool. I find it hard to believe you don't have experience with this, considering your history. A good thief never has to fight, and they certainly don't need formal training. I'll do the other myself. Pinto Dempsey, you're up first. Writing the scene pushed me to my limits, but the final product was definitely worth the effort. Thank you. 